We got a late start today, unfortunately. <laughs> we definitely should have been here earlier. Long lines wrapped around stores in the Strip District, especially Wally's. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. We got lots of fish. And it's really reasonable. While some grocery stores are having a tough time keeping the shelves stocked, Wally says they aren't having any supply issues. Workers are focused on getting people into the holiday spirit. Merry Christmas! And having enough seafood like shrimp, eel, and squid so shoppers can get ready for the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Tradition, uh, family history, and we're really into seafood, so we just kind of want to eat what we like. The special tradition from Italy that is carried on here in the United States brings families like the Petropolos together on Christmas Eve. We have um, the Oysters Rockefeller who have the clams. We have, this is a uh, bacala salad that's made with the buckle the dry that you soak for at least three days. The mother and daughter, both named Marie, say the celebration is about much more than food. It's about passing on cultural customs. My children are learning how to do this stuff. They've learned through the years. Uh, I learned off of my mother, who learned off of her mother, and it's just a fun time. And the feast is about remembering loved ones who are no longer here, like the patriarch of the family, Dominic. He is so happy that we that we still get together. He's so happy that we still do his traditions from his town. And when we sit down to eat, we tell stories and we make a toast. And remember when daddy did this. Marie says the dinner is one way he's honored, remembered and loved. I know he's smiling on us. Then the family goes to church, meshing their food traditions with their faithful ones. Many families say they couldn't celebrate the holidays together last year because of COVID-19, so they're making up for it this year. Reporting in the Strip District, Chandy Chapman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.